this year because we were all together. So we walked a lot. Some days 20 kilometers. But you take some rest in between. Huh? You take some uh, rest in between. Well, we okay, stop. We stop at place. places on the way. Okay. We stop at places and talk about that place. You know. Yeah, Guru Maharaj. We could hear some of the uh, uh, some of your lectures, Guru Maharaj. We got the videos. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Um, Guru Maharaj, next week is Gaura Purnima and uh, um, uh, for our Friday program, should we take uh, the Gauranitai deities and do a small Abhishek, what you suggest Guru Maharaj for us, for our group? Who's got Gauranitai deities? I have got Gauranitai deities. But you're, you're Gauranitai's resin, right? No, no. Now we have got the brass, Guru Maharaj. I, my raising deities I gave to Tanmai and I have got the brass Gauranita. Maybe oh, you, I can show you. Oh, okay, okay. You've got brass Gauranita. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Take them there and do have a shake, yeah? Okay. Yeah, if you've got Gauranita. What time is your program in the evening? At 6.30. Okay. 6.30. Um, yeah, we have, yes, Guru Maharaj. We have not done any Abhishek before. So maybe we can, uh, we can ask everybody to do it. Or how is it, Guru Maharaj? Yeah. Anybody who wants to do it. Anyone who wants to do it. You okay. just you just sprinkle some water on their hands before before they do it. You know, you sprinkle uh -huh. some water on their hands. Yeah, atom and water. Yeah. Purified water. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh Abhishek with water or uh... Well, milk and water milk. and yogurt. Okay. And ghee. <laughs> Okay. <gasps> little ghee, little bit ghee, little you don't need much ghee, little, ghee. Yeah, little bit ghee. ghee, little bit honey. Okay. Okay, Guru Maharaj. Some fruits, maybe. No. Well, some places they do that, but you don't need to. Usually okay. should be panchagavya. Milk, water, yogurt, little ghee and little honey. Yeah. Okay, Guru Maharaj. And then give everybody a little bit to drink. Okay. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Everyone can have a little glass of the Charanamrita. And mm. Tosis, have you got Tosi leaves? Ah, yes, we have a Tulsi plant. Tulsi leaves, yes, there, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. So I have to add the tulsi leaves to this uh, milk, water, yogurt, ghee and honey, like that? Yeah. Okay. When you offer, when you pour the water on, when you mm. pour the substances onto the deity, there should be tulsi leaves. And... Okay. Okay, Guru Maharaj. Yes, Guru Maharaj. So next Saturday, uh, we can have a small uh, uh, Gaurav Purnima program or we should continue with Bhagavad Gita, Guru Maharaj. What do you think? Online? Well, if you're doing a program on Friday, you don't need to do it again on Saturday. Okay. Okay. If you're doing it on Friday. Mm -hmm. But is it Friday you're doing it? Yeah? Actually, when is, right. when is Gaurav Purnima? Friday. Yeah, Friday. The 18th? Eighteen, yes. It's a Friday. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. I have a little comment about the kirtan. I read somewhere that when the leader has a complicated tune, then the other people just simplify it or make it like a simple tune. 
so that they don't have to complicate themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a good idea. I, I actually read that uh, the other day somewhere. <laughs> the tune shouldn't be too complicated. It should be simple, so everyone can follow. Mm. Okay. If not, then the, the, the followers, then they just uh, do what comes to their head, like a simple one or something. They yeah. Don't what it says. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's not easy to follow some complicated tune, you know. Yeah, we should keep it simple. <laughs> Guru Maharaj Jagat Sakshi Prabhuji. Uh huh. He is coming to Zurich, and they asked if we he he we can also have have him here on Friday. Oh, very nice. Okay, I told him there are not very too many participants. Maybe he, they said uh, he can do very good in uh, lecture in Tamil. In what? Tamil, in Tamil, Tamil language. Oh yeah, yeah, he's Tamil or Malayali. Ah. He's he's in charge in Trivandrum. Ah. So he okay. can speak very nice Tamil and Malayali. Maybe you can arrange even program from the Shiva temple, I don't know. Yeah, last Saturday I went to the Sri Lankan temple to do a Kirtan Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Very few participants, just three or four are coming to the, uh, came to the temple. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, maybe I can try with this, uh, uh, with the Prabhuji, Jagat Sakshi Prabhuji coming, let me try Guru Maharaj. I can advertise and see how Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you can advertise mm. that he's coming from Trivandrum mm. and he's a very well-known speaker, very well, okay. very, author, very qualified. Mm. I know the devotees from Malaysia used to come there to Switzerland. Of course, they would go to Zurich. I don't think they ever came to Geneva. Yeah, they haven't come. But they would go to Paris. <coughs> In Paris, there's also Tamils. Okay. So when's he coming? Uh, they said uh, he's going to be in the temple from April uh, uh, 5th, uh, to April uh, 50, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. They're, going, they're having some special program with him on a topic. And they said maybe they can arrange for Geneva, uh, maybe if I say uh, they can arrange for Geneva the next week, April 22nd on Friday at the hall. If mm -hmm. our, we, can, we can combine with our Friday programs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good Maharaj. Yeah, try to get more people though. Mm, yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, maybe, is there a Tamil society there? No, Guru Maharaj, not in Geneva. In Zurich. Oh, sorry. In Zurich. In Zurich, there is one. <laughs> Swiss Tamil Society. They have a. Uh, they are. They are. Uh, they are. They are. They have a Swiss Tamil Society, and they take care of the temple. They have a good. Uh, yeah. They, they take care along with Krishna Prabhupada. They make nice and spicy prasad on this uh, mm -hmm. Sunday morning or Saturday. <laughs> Yeah, I think if he's coming there, you can invite all the all the local Indians there, you know. Like at Janmashtami, they come, you know. Yeah. So all these Sri Vaishnavas, those people, mm. they can come, invite them. Okay. Okay, Guru Maharaj, yeah. Yeah. He'll be I happy to meet them. Mm. Okay, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. It's a very nice devotee. Mm. Okay. If he will come to Geneva, it will be very nice. Okay. It will be a blessing for Geneva. 
Okay, Guru Maharaj. So encourage yeah. him to come. Okay. Um, Guru Maharaj, one more thing regarding cooking. Previously, I've discussed with you that uh, with, with our group, because um, most of them doesn't have uh, follow the regulative principles. Uh, uh, previously, uh, we uh, decided like um, uh, we will do the cooking in my house. I will do the cooking. They will do the vegetable cutting. Uh, just had a doubt if in my house they can also do the cooking people who are not uh, really following the uh, regulative principles or uh, Cooking has to, it's better to me to do the cooking sometimes they ask me Guru Maharaj I want to do the cake for Gaurav Purnima next uh, uh, Week uh, some one Mataji she said can I do the cake at my home and come then I was thinking maybe I should ask her to come to my house and make it or uh, how to do adjust this, Guru Maharaj? Any suggestions from you? Well, uh, yeah, no harm. You know, you don't have any established temple or anything like that there. So you can encourage them, giving them that freedom, let them do some cooking, and encourage them, try to follow better. <laughs> okay. For the festivals or for every... Uh, yeah, for everything, yeah. For every program they can do at uh, their home or... Uh, as you like. At their home it's not as good as at your home. Mm. I think it's better at your home. Yeah, better I can ask them to come to my home and let them do the cooking. Yeah, and you could you supervise. You have to be there and watch them. Yeah, I will be there maybe. Yes, Guru Maharaj. We will put the kids and help them, and I will also do. Something. You have to watch them. Yeah, don't let them okay. lick. Don't let them lick things or taste things before they, before uh -huh. they cook it. Okay, okay. Make sure they're clean. You tell them they have to, they have to bathe. Ah. Uh. They should put on clean clothes. Okay. Cover their hair. Put something on their hair. To stop the hair falling, you know, uh -huh. there's something okay. over the hair. Yeah, yeah, I have to also do it, yeah. Uh, so you, you tell, they want to cook, this is what you have to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Guru Maharaj, yeah. We all, we usually take bath in the morning, so better to take uh, again before cooking or it's, we didn't fall, we are not uh, very strict with that, like, morning we take bath maybe well you have to consider what you've been doing in the day you know if you go outside or anything then you have to take bath again to book to go in the kitchen mm. if you're going to go on the altar or in the kitchen usually what we would do if we went up if we've gone outside then or if we've used the bathroom then we'll take bath again mm. okay okay Okay, Guru Maharaj, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, you've got to be clean, right? This is cleanliness. Cleanliness, yeah. this is a sign of devotion. Yes, you see? And they, they shouldn't be in their menstruation period also. Yeah, yes, yes, that we follow, Guru Maharaj. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Guru Maharaj, I got it. May I ask the question, Guru Maharaj? Sure, sure, Guru Maharaj, please. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Sri Prabhupada. My question is, um, two kinds of preparations. One, the Egadasi preparation in the normal preparation. May I please know, if we have Goranita deities at home and also Jagannath deities, can we just, uh, what, what is the best preparation to offer the deities, all the deities, the Jagannath deities and the Goranita deities. What, what, sorry, what Goga to offer the deities? May I know Guru Maharaj? Thank you very much. Well, they're the same. There's no difference, Jagannath and Goranita. They're the same. They're the same persons. Why there should be any difference in what you offer to them? Grains to 
Jagannath and Ega Dusty Prashad for Goranitai for Gorapurni. Oh, no. Not necessary. Gorni Thai don't have to follow that. They can take grains. Okay. Devotees don't take grains on Gaur Purnima, but you can offer to the deities grains. Okay. We give the grains to people who are not devotees. People who are not initiated, they can eat grains. But the initiated devotees won't take grains. Translation by Sivan De Sesi Bhakti Dhamsa Swami Srila Prabhupada Jai. For one who is a neophyte in the Eightfold Yoga system, work is said to be the means. And for one who is already elevated in yoga, cessation of all material activities is said to be the means. Purport. The process of linking oneself with the Supreme is called yoga. It may be compared to a ladder for attaining the topmost spiritual realization. This ladder begins from the lowest material condition of the living entity and rises up to perfect self-realization and pure spiritual life. According to various elevations, different parts of the ladder are known by different names, but all in all the complete ladder is called yoga and may be divided into three parts, namely jnana yoga, dhyana yoga and bhakti yoga. The beginning of the ladder is called the yoga rurukshu stage and the highest rung is called yoga rudra. Concerning the April yoga system, attempts in the beginning to enter into meditation through regulative principles of life and practice of different sitting postures which are more or less bodily exercises are considered fruitive and material activities. All such activities lead to achieving perfect mental equilibrium to control the senses. When one is accomplished in the practice of meditation, he ceases all disturbing mental activities. A Krishna conscious person, however, is situated from the beginning on the platform of meditation because he always thinks of Krishna. And being constantly engaged in the service of Krishna, he is considered to have ceased all material activities. Michael? Said by Lex, I'll just uh, read the translation <coughs> or with uh, the purport too. Yeah, read the purport too. C'est par l'action que progresse le néophyte qui emprunte la voie du yoga en huit phases, alors que c'est en renonçant aux actes matériels que s'élève le yogi avancé. Le mot « yoga » désigne le processus qui nous permet de nous unir au suprême. Il consiste en une série de pratiques échelonnées menant à la plus haute réalisation spirituelle. Emprunter l'échelle du yoga, c'est aller de la condition matérielle la plus basse jusqu'à la plus parfaite réalisation de soi. Les diverses pratiques qui correspondent à différents échelons peuvent être classées en trois groupes. Le jnana yoga, le dhyana yoga et le bhakti yoga. L'échelle entière s'appelle yoga. Le bas de l'échelle est le niveau yoga rurukshu et son sommet le yoga rudra. 
les premières étapes de l'Ashtanga Yoga où l'on médite en suivant des principes régulateurs et en pratiquant diverses postures qui sont de simples ex exercices physiques sont encore du domaine des activités intéressées. Ces pratiques donnent l'équilibre mental indispensable à la maîtrise des sens. Et une fois que le yogi est fixe dans sa méditation, aucune pensée extérieure ne vient plus l'en détourner. Toutefois, en vertu de son absorption en Dieu, une personne consciente de Krishna se situe d'emblée au stade de la méditation. Ces actes ne sont pas matériels puisqu'ils sont toujours accomplis dans le cadre du service divin. Ok, All right, so we're hearing about the yoga system again, uh, Lord Krishna. Recording in progress. Oh, there he is. Yeah, Haribo, back again. No, I think my... You're back, but your mic's off. Okay, I got you. There, it's off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we we're... didn't hear any of what you said after the... <laughs> okay, okay. So this is the yoga ladder. We're hearing about different levels of the yoga ladder. Ceci est l'échelle du yoga. Nous entendons ici parler de différents échelons de l'échelle du yoga. Mm, Srila Prabhupada said may be divided into three parts. Uh, Srila Prabhupada dit qu'elle peut être divisée en trois parties. So Dhyana Yoga. And then the Jnana Yoga leads to Dhyana Yoga, or meditation. And then the, the meditation leads to Bhakti Yoga. D'abord, il y a le Jnana Yoga qui mène à, au Dhyana Yoga, qui est donc euh, la méditation. Et euh, le Dhyana Yoga, méditation, euh, mène au Bhakti Yoga. And we see in the verse, in the original verse of Sanskrit, Lord Krishna is explaining that in the beginning, work is said to be the means. Alors, uh, Krishna dit ici que, en, en premier, le, le travail um, est uh, le moyen de, de procéder. And it's customary, new people coming to Krishna consciousness, we want to keep them active, keep them busy, give them work to do. Quand, quand les devas arrivent dans la conscience de Krishna, nous voulons les garder euh, actifs. Il faut leur donner du, du travail, yeah, des the activités. People have to, they have to be engaged. They, they're not yet able to control their mind, so we let them use their body, their hands, and work for the service of Krishna. Alors, euh, il faut qu'ils utilisent leur, leur corps et leurs mains pour, pour pratiquer des activités au, au service de, de Krishna. Mm -hmm. We were just talking with Vaishnavi, she's telling how the ladies come and she gets them to cut vegetables. So that's the beginning of their Krishna consciousness, cutting the vegetables for Krishna. Donc, au, par exemple, Vaishnavi expliquait que quand il y a des femmes qui viennent et elles les engagent à couper des, des légumes. They're not, yet, premier... they're not yet accustomed to engaging their mind to think of Krishna. Et, euh, en fait, c'est leur premier devoir, c'est leur premier, euh, première activité dans, dans la conscience de Krishna, puisqu'en fait, elles n'ont pas encore l'habitude d'utiliser leur, leur, leur esprit dans d'engager leur, leur, leur mental dans le service de Krishna, elles utilisent leur, leur, leur corps. So, in the beginning, there has to be activities, get people to work, to work for Krishna, to dance and sing for Krishna, to cook for Krishna, to clean for Krishna. Alors, donc, euh, en premier lieu, euh, les, les personnes utilisent, euh, font les activités comme de danser, de cuisiner et euh, de chanter pour, pour Krishna. And in this way, gradually, people, by working for Krishna, they become purified. 
Et de cette manière, en travaillant, pour, pour, en pratiquant des activités pour Krishna, il, il se purifie. And when, as they become more elevated, then they, they, they can stop, they, they can give up all their material activities. Et donc, en s'élevant, en s'élevant dans, dans leur conscience, leur conscience de Krishna, ils peuvent, euh, ils peuvent abandonner leur, leur, leurs activités euh, ma, purement matérielles. Srila Prabhupada describes the material activities. He said, just like the yoga exercises and then the, the breathing, the pranayama, these are the material activities. Et donc, Srila Prabhupada explique ici que les, les, les exercices de respiration euh, comme le pranayama et les, les postures sont des des activités matérielles. The whole, pur the whole purpose of the yoga system is to get control over the mind and senses. En fait, le but tout entier de, 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 du, du système de yoga, c'est de, de, de contrôler le, le, le sens, les sens et euh, l'esprit. So when people are have come to that level where they're able to control their mind and senses, then they can stop all the material activities. Donc, en fait, quand les personnes arrivent à ce niveau où ils contrôlent leur... Euh, ils arrivent à, à se contrôler leur esprit et leur corps, um, what is the end? They, they, once they control their... When they have control over the mind and senses, then they give up all the material activities. And then they take up spiritual activities. And then they take up spiritual activities. Il commence des activités spirituelles. Mm, just like when we chant Hare Krishna, in the beginning we're chanting, we don't really understand what we're doing, we don't take it very seriously, but we chant. Par exemple, au tout début que nous chantons le mantra Hare Krishna, nous ne le prenons pas très sérieusement. And gradually, the chanting improves. We, we, we begin to take more pleasure in the chanting. Petit à petit, nous progressons et nous commençons à trouver du plaisir dans ce chant du mantra. Taking pleasure in the chanting is a sign that you're advancing in Krishna consciousness. Trouver du plaisir dans le, le chant est un signe que vous progressez dans la conscience de Krishna. And then, you want to take up more spiritual activities, means we want to engage yourself in the devotional practices. Uh, donc, ensuite, vous, vous voudrez en fait uh, pratiquer plus d'activités spirituelles, des, 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 des activités dévotionnelles, And des pratiques dévotionnelles. Spiritual activities will help us to uh, understand our relationship with the Supreme. Les, les, les activités spirituelles vous aideront à, à, à comprendre votre relation avec, avec le Supreme. Mm. Just like in the beginning, we read the Bhagavad Gita and we don't understand very much. But if we keep reading, gradually we'll understand. Par exemple, dans, au début, on ne comprend pas très bien la Bhagavad Gita. Mais euh, lorsqu'on continue à lire, ensuite on, on comprend mieux. And so in the beginning, people practice yoga and they practice first of all by doing material activities. De la même manière, quand, quand une personne euh, fait du yoga, 
au début, il pratique des, des activités matérielles. Asana, pranayama, these are material things. Yama, niyam, asan, pranayam, this is all material. Asana, uh, pranayama, uh, niyama, toutes celles-ci sont en fait des activités matérielles. But gradually we go on to come to a higher consciousness and we can go on to come to the stage of samadhi where our mind is fixed on the Supreme. Par contre, quand on continue sur cette voie, on a, nous arrivons au, au, au but du, du samadhi où nous sommes euh, en, en, en relation constante avec le, le Supreme. So. So that, that consciousness, that samadhi, that is reached by the devotee when we chant Hare Krishna. Donc, c est, c est, ce niveau de conscience, le samadhi, on, 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 on y arrive avec le chant du, du mantra Hare Krishna. No, samadhi means fixed mind. The mind is fixed, it doesn't wander. Le samadhi, ça veut dire l'esprit le, fixé. Ça veut dire que l'esprit ne, ne, ne se déplace pas d'un endroit à l'autre. Il est fixé sur, sur Krishna. So when the devotee chants, when the devotee chants, then that, that in the beginning the mind wanders, but gradually we, we control the mind and we can fix the mind on the chanting. Donc, on, on, euh, premièrement, quand on chante Hare Krishna, notre esprit se, euh, change toujours d'idée au début. Mais ensuite, on, on arrive, euh, on, en continuant de chanter, on peut fixer notre esprit sur euh, le chant du Saint-Nom, etc. Sometimes Srila Prabhupada would explain, he said the chanting, he said, because people would ask, what to do with the mind when we chant? Parfois, les, pers les personnes demandaient à Srila Prabhupada « Qu'est-ce que je dois faire avec, avec mon mental quand je chante ?» Parce qu'il euh, il, il change tout le temps d'idée. Srila Prabhupada a dit « Quand vous chantez, vous utilisez la langue pour chanter et les oreilles pour écouter. » Il a dit « Ce n'est pas une question de la mind. » Donc, Srila Prabhupada ra euh, répondit que quand vous chantez, vous utilisez seulement votre bouche pour chanter et vos, et vos oreilles pour écouter, entendre. Ce n'est pas une histoire de l'esprit en fait. Voilà ce qu'il disait. You don't have to worry about the mind. Just chant. Il faut juste... Il n'y a pas besoin de s'inquiéter de l'esprit. Il faut juste chanter et euh, écouter. And hear with the ears. Hear carefully. Hear the mantra. Hear all the words of the mantra. Euh, écouter euh, atten attentionnellement euh, avec les oreilles, entendre tout, tous les mots du mantra, écouter tous les mots du, du mantra seulement, so, pas penser. So that is samadhi, fixed mind, mind fixed on so, Krishna. C'est ça le samadhi, c'est l'esprit le, fixé sur, sur Krishna, le, 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 le mental fixé sur Krishna. So, when we come to that stage, then we will no longer be thinking about material activities. Donc, quand vous arrivez à ce, cette étape, ce, ce but, vous, vous n'aurez euh, plus l'esprit euh, qui pense à des activités matérielles. Material activities are on the platform of the body and the mind. Euh, non, en fait, vous, vous n'aurez plus d'activité matérielle. Les activités matérielles sont, 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 sont au niveau du corps et, de, et de, du mental et du, du cerveau. But if we chant the Hare Krishna mantra carefully, we will transcend the mind. Mais si vous chantez 
le mantra Hare Krishna avec attention, euh, en, faisant, en étant très concentré, ben, vous surpasserez, le, vous surpasserez le, le mental et le corps. So, so Krishna is teaching us the different levels of yoga practice. Alors, donc, uh, Krishna nous, nous explique qu'il y a différents uh, niveaux de, de, de yoga. So sometimes people will stop their activities, but within the mind they're still thinking about so many things. En fait, des fois, les gens arrêteront leur activité. Par contre, dans leur cerveau, ils seront toujours en train de penser à différentes choses. In the mind, they still have many desires to enjoy the material body. Dans, dans la tête, ils auront quand même encore beaucoup de désir de, de, de se faire plaisir avec leur, leur corps. But the real yogi, he, he, in his mind, he's simply contemplating the service of the Supreme Lord. Par contre, un vrai yogi, dans son esprit, il est, il est seulement en train de contempler euh, comment mieux servir le, le Seigneur. So the yogi is always, within the mind, he's always thinking about the Supreme Lord, how to serve him, how to do more service for him. Donc le vrai yogi, donc... Euh, il pense seulement à comment servir son Seigneur, comment pratiquer du vrai service dévotionnel à, à, à Dieu. Devotee, one who's a yogi, devotee, he's, always, he's also the greatest yogi, because he's always thinking about service to Krishna. Le, le devote est aussi le meilleur yogi, car il pense toujours au service dévotionnel à Krishna. We may not practice jnana yoga and dhyana yoga, but by doing bhakti yoga, we automatically learn about jnana yoga and dhyana yoga. Peut-être nous ne pratiquons pas le, le jnana yoga et le dhyana yoga, mais en pratiquant le bhakti yoga, nous, nous pratiquons automatiquement le, les deux autres. One who is doing bhakti yoga He already, he knows, he has knowledge, he understands who is God and he understands his relationship with God. Celui qui, qui pratique le Bhakti Yoga, il, il sait euh, quelle est sa relation avec Dieu et il connaît Dieu. He understands Krishna is the Supreme Lord and he is Krishna's servant. Il comprend que Krishna est le Seigneur suprême et qu'il est le, le servant du, du, du Seigneur. This is, this is perfect knowledge. C'est ça la connaissance parfaite. You don't need to have a lot of knowledge, but you need to use what you know. Il n'y a pas besoin d'avoir beaucoup de, de savoir, mais il faut utiliser ce que vous savez. And then, Dhyana Yoga, meditation, a devotee is always remembering Krishna, so he is the best meditator. Alors, le Dhyana Yoga, la méditation, le devote est toujours en train de, de méditer sur Krishna, et donc le, le, le Bhakti Yoga, c'est euh, le meilleur des yogis. The devotee sees everything in relation to Krishna. Le devote voit tout en relation avec Krishna. <coughs> When he sees a flower, he thinks, oh, that's a flower, I can offer it to Krishna. Lorsqu'un devote de Krishna voit une fleur, un bhakti yogi voit une fleur, il se dit seulement, automatiquement, je peux offrir cette fleur à Krishna, c'est tout. And when there's a fruit, then the devotee also thinks, oh, it's a fruit, I can offer it to Krishna. Et euh, quand un devote 
voit un, un fruit, il se dit tout de suite je, « je, Voilà encore un, quelque chose que je peux offrir à Krishna, un fruit. » If, if we find a hundred dollar bill, one hundred dollar bill laying in the street, now the devotee, he will pick it up and he will use it for Krishna's service. Si nous voyons un, un billet de, de 100 francs, environ, par terre, eh bien, un dévot, il lui va le ramasser, le ramasser et se dire, je vais utiliser ce billet pour le service de, du Seigneur seulement. But if one is a jnana yogi, if one is just doing jnana yoga, he won't touch it. You think, oh, this is maya, don't touch it. Mais quelqu'un quelqu qui est un, un, un yogi jnana, euh, quand il verra ce, ce billet, il va seulement se dire, oh, ça c'est maya, il ne faut pas le toucher. Mm, the yogi wants to stay away from maya, he won't touch the money. The jnana yogi. Il veut... Mm. Le, le, gyani, le, le yogi du jnana, de la, de, du, du, de la, du savoir, il, il voit le billet comme, comme maya seulement. Il ne connaît pas euh, le service de Krishna. But the, the non-devotee, the one who is a karmi, who is just a, a materialist, he will take the money, put it in his own pocket and use it for, for sense gratification. Un par contre, quand il voit le billet de, de 100 francs ou 100 dollars, il va simplement euh, le prendre avec lui pour euh, l'utiliser pour, pour, son, pour son propre bénéfice matériel. So you can see the one who is Krishna, a devotee of Krishna is already on the topmost level of yoga. Donc nous voyons que quelqu'un qui est un un dévot de Krishna, il est déjà sur le, le plus haut des échelons du, 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 du yoga, du he système give, de yoga. He gives up all the material activities. Donc, il, 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 euh, il laisse tomber toutes les, les activités matérielles, en fait. He just simply wants to dedicate everything for the service of Krishna. Il veut seulement tout... Uh, dédié au service de Krishna. But he stops all the maya, he stops all the nonsense which he was doing before becoming a devotee. Il arrête tout le maya, il, 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 a, il renonce à toutes ces activités euh, néfastes qu'il pratiquait avant de devenir un devot. Before becoming a devotee, he would eat everything. And he would drink everything, and he would say all kinds of nonsense. But after becoming a devotee, he's a very different person. Avant de devenir un devot, il mangeait sans, sans, sans euh, regarder euh, qu'est-ce que c'était. Et il, 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 faisait, il pratiquait toutes ses activités sans, sans, sans regarder... Euh, Maintenant, il, il pratique que les activités qui, qui, qui sont bonnes pour son, son service à Krishna. Ok, are there any questions today? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes, Guru. Uh, ok, oh, ok, Simon. Okay, no, please, please, you, please, uh, uh, you know. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna. Please accept my humble obeisances, all to Rasusila Prabhupada. My question is, uh, if uh, Krishna is the absolute true, uh, why uh, is he not accepted by uh, all people? Uh, the, if the truth is absolute, um, uh, it uh, must be for all, you know, for stupid, for intelligent, for devotees, for non-devotees. Uh, for uh, faithful, for atheists, uh, and so on. Um, I think if uh, materialistic philosopher, philosophers, for example, uh, may ask uh, such a question, what can we answer? Si, si Krishna est le, est le Seigneur suprême, est la vérité absolue, pourquoi est-ce que, est que toutes les personnes ne l'acceptent pas 
What was the second half of the question? Oh, uh, si quelqu'un, si une personne matérialiste nous pose cette question, qu'est-ce que nous devons lui répondre? Okay. Well, it's not that everybody is qualified to see the truth. You see, you have to understand. To understand the truth, you have to you have to have a proper you have proper education, proper guidance, proper vision. C'est que pas tout le monde est, est qualifié pour comprendre la vérité. Pour 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 euh, comprendre la vérité, il faut avoir la 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 l'éducation nécessaire pour pour pour, pour voir euh, la vérité. You want everyone to understand the absolute truth? Oh, well, that's a very big. You, you, you want something very big, you know. Do you think everyone can understand the absolute truth? Vous croyez que, et si vous croyez que tout le monde peut comprendre la vérité absolue, c'est vraiment exagéré. Mm, the mass of people, ordinary people, they don't even know what you mean when you talk about the absolute truth. They never thought about an absolute truth. La plupart des gens ne savent même pas de quoi vous parlez quand vous, quand vous parlez de la réalité suprême absolue. Ils n'y ont souvent même pas pensé. There are so many, so many people, you know, they don't, they don't even believe there's God, they never thought about any purpose in life, and they have no understanding of an absolute truth. Un grand pourcentage des gens ne croient même pas en Dieu. Et donc, il, il y en a beaucoup aussi qui ne voient vraiment pas ce que c'est la vérité absolue, qui n'ont pas idée. But those people who are actually learned, who are actually philosophers, they understand the absolute truth. Mais les gens qui sont en fait euh, très éduqués, très qui ont beaucoup appris sur euh, ce sujet, des grands, des, qui sont des grands philosophes, ils, ils peuvent euh, savoir euh, à peu près ce que c'est la vérité absolue. Uh, that is also mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita in the 10th chapter. Arjuna said that uh, uh, great sages like Asita and Devala and Vyas and Narada they all accept Krishna as the absolute truth. And Arjuna says, now I also accept you as the absolute truth. Ils sont très rares, mais il y en a. Par exemple, dans la Bhagavad Gita, euh, chapitre 10, il est mentionné que Asita, Devala, Narada, ils, ils, ils me connaissent en tant que la, la vérité absolue. Et toi aussi, tu peux me connaître de cette manière. So those people who are actually learned, who are actually intelligent people and philosophers, they can understand the absolute truth. Et donc les gens qui sont qui se sont qui ont appris, ils peuvent comprendre euh, la vérité absolue. But you cannot think that everyone can understand the absolute truth. It's not possible. Mais euh, pas tout le monde peut, peut le savoir, c'est simplement pas possible. Mm. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Welcome, all the businesses. Hare Krishna. Yes, Sri Devi. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Sri Devi. This is regarding chanting, Guru Maharaj. Just now, Guru Maharaj was saying that it's, on, it's our tongue and our ears. We hear and then we must hear our own chanting. But I don't know why uh, some people are saying we must think of a pastime of Krishna in our mind when we chant. Can I please seek clarification from Guru Maharaj? Uh, Srila Prabhupada explique clairement qu'il faut utiliser notre euh, bouche pour chanter et seulement notre, notre, nos oreilles pour, pour écouter. Mais il y a des gens qui disent qu'il faut penser à des passe-temps de Krishna lorsque nous chantons au même temps. Well, it's not that we uh, force our minds to think of a pastime of Krishna. 
But if in the course of your chanting, a pastime of Krishna naturally enters into your mind, then that's all right. But the real business in chanting is to hear. You must hear the mantra. Ce n'est pas que vous devez penser à des, des, des activités de Krishna lorsque vous chantez. S'il y en a une qui vient dans votre esprit lorsque vous êtes en train de chanter, ça va. Mais l'important, c'est d'écouter les noms du, du les saints noms de Krishna. We should understand that within the holy name of Lord Krishna, the holy name of Lord Krishna includes all the other subsidiary qualities of Krishna, all of his pastimes and his forms and qualities, it's all there within the holy name. Il faut bien, on peut bien comprendre que lorsqu'on chante les, les saints noms de Krishna, le, son nom, euh, un, et, euh, dans son nom, tout, toutes les autres parties de Krishna, comme son, ses activités, sa forme, sa, sa beauté, etc., sont toutes incluses dans, dans, rien que dans son nom. So when we chant the holy name, you want to focus first on hearing the holy name, and from that holy name, if then Krishna reveals pastimes to you, then it's all right. Donc, il faut chanter son, son saint nom, et euh, s'il si y a des, des, des activités à Krishna, des pastons, qui, des lilas qui, 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 qui vous viennent dans l'esprit quand vous chantez, c'est ok, c'est pas grave. But it's not by force, it's not mechanical, that it should be actually spontaneous and natural that we the thought of Krishna's Leela will come into our mind. C'est très bien, mais ça doit, ça doit pas être euh, mécanique, euh, ça doit être spontané. Il n'y a pas, il, ça ne doit pas être un effort pour y penser. Euh, mais euh, si vous y pensez, ben c'est bien. Yes. L'important c'est d'écouter les noms. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Thank you, okay. All right. No more questions. Mike Simon had a question. Ah, uh, yes, Guru Maharaj. Simon, what's your question, please? What? Simon Prabhuji? Uh, yes, uh, Michael, Lisa, s'il vous plaît, uh, don't chat, don't chat, okay, Michael? Uh -huh. Dans le chat, j'ai écrit dans le chat. Et quand un yogi devient parfait dans la méditation, il arrête toutes les activités matérielles. Guru Maharaj, parlez-moi de cette perfection, parce que je voudrais savoir, euh, il devient parfait. Euh, euh, S'il peut euh, parler de cette perfection, comme il devient per parfait. Donc, euh, mm. et deuxième question, euh, et, euh, ayant arrêté l'activité matérielle, le yogi se transforme en clochard qui demande d'argent dans la roue. Hmm. Okay. When uh, I've got uh, uh, the question written down in the chat because it's a bit uh, special, long. Uh, when a yogi becomes perfect, <clears throat> sorry, in meditation, he stops all uh, material activities. Can you speak about that? And having quit all material activities, the Yogi does. Uh, the yogi transforms himself into a beggar who asks for. Est-ce qu'il se transforme ou? Oui, c'est le fait les activités matérielles. Il devient quelqu'un en clochard qui demande de l'argent de la rue. Okay. Uh, when he when he stops all material activities, does he become some beggar who asks, who has to ask for money in the in, on the road, on the streets? Uh, okay, and I'll just say it in French. Quand un yogi devient parfait dans la méditation, il arrête toutes les activités matérielles. Parlez-moi de la perfection. Et ayant arrêté l'activité matérielle, le yogi se transforme en clochard qui demande de l'argent. Uh, can you speak about the perfection? 
because uh, we maybe we don't really understand uh, what what you be, be how you live and uh, how you are when you're perfect. Well, when we're perfect, then we act in Krishna consciousness. We do every. We don't stop all activities, but we stop all material activities. Material activities are acts only for sense gratification, only for the pleasure of my body and my senses. I'm thinking about enjoying material life. Quand, quand nous sommes un yogi parfait, nous arrêtons simplement toutes les activités matérielles. Nous, nous ne pratiquons plus de d'activité pour notre propre plaisir mais pour euh, le plaisir de Krishna and we engage in Et, mm, really? nous engageons dans le service dévotionnel donc so we still uh, do things too so that we yes you have to do spiritual activities working for Krishna everything you do do it for Krishna on fait des activités spirituelles donc that doesn't mean we start we just become like die yeah if, if you go begging that's material that's not stopping activities let's do it but if, but if you act in the service of krishna that's on the spiritual platform Voilà, c'est déjà sur la, la, la plateforme spirituelle, uh, even if it's a uh, work, yeah, même we... si c'est un uh, tour. Un karmi mange de la nourriture et nous, nous mangeons du prasadam, c'est la même chose. It's in the service of Krishna. You still act, but you don't act for sense gratification, you act for Krishna's pleasure. Nous, nous utilisons seulement nos sens pour euh, le service dévotionnel, mais nous utilisons quand même nos sens. Donc. We explained in the other, the, the, the earlier verses in the sixth chapter, we were talking about renunciation. And we said you cannot stop activities, you cannot stop, you cannot do nothing. Dans le chapitre, dans les versets précédents du chapitre 6, etc., nous parlions du, du renoncement. Il est dit qu'on ne peut pas arrêter le, on ne peut pas arrêter nos, nos activités. We have to learn how how to act for Krishna. Il faut apprendre comment pratiquer nos activités pour Krishna. So it begins with chanting, chanting the names of Krishna and hearing about Krishna. Ça commence avec euh, le chant des saints noms et euh, euh, entendre, entendre parler de Krishna et euh, penser à Krishna. Mm -hmm. Agir pour lui. You understand, Michael? I do. Simon, est-ce que tu as compris? Simon? Oui, J'ai compris, mais en Suisse, par exemple, on habite en Suisse, et s'il faut, c'est euh, impossible d'arrêter euh, euh, l'activité matérielle. Pourquoi? Parce que il faut que... I think it's a good question. I think it's a great, it's a pretty good question, actually. Uh, here in Switzerland, he says we, it would, we really can't stop uh, acting either, actually, anywhere. He said, also, uh, Simon. He said, we cannot, we cannot stop acting? Il faut payer l'assurance maladie et donc euh, il faut travailler, bien travailler ici. We have to uh, pay uh, health insurance, which is uh, super expensive, so we have to uh, work or, uh, or, or, or else. <laughs> yeah, everyone has to work. Everyone. Tout le monde doit, tout le monde, Simon, doit pratiquer des activités, donc, euh, donc en fait, euh, c'est ça l'art du service dévotionnel. Oui, mais nous avons les ailes là-bas écrit comme ça que un yoga il arrête activité euh, matérielle. Oui, alors il, bien sûr, c'est c'est ça, c'est pas de l'activité matérielle de servir Krishna. Il fait les activités, mais dans le but de de de, de donner du plaisir à Krishna. Ok, donc il, il n'arrête pas activité matérielle. 
oui, ce n'est pas de l'activité matérielle de travailler dans le but de, de pratiquer l'arati, de, de, de donner la nourriture à Krishna avant de la manger. C'est seulement ça le service dévotionnel. Et donc, c'est ça le bhakti yoga. Et donc, quand tu fais ça, tu n'es plus dans les activités matérielles. Ok, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, so now we're going to chant one round of Hare Krishna. Jai. Yes. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasa De Gaur 